In its latest report, the IEA has made a worrisome claim. In order for the world to reach net zero by 2050, a large investment in clean hydrogen will be needed. A $1.2 trillion investment. And it needs to happen by the end of this decade. So far, according to the IEA, countries investing in hydrogen have sunk only about $37 billion into the clean fuel. The private sector has done better with $300 billion in investments. Cost is still a major roadblock to turning hydrogen into our energy savior. Though policy around the world is fast-tracking hydrogen development, additional investment and more focused policies are still needed to bring the price down to fossil fuel levels. For investors, it remains a speculative play, and while big money is pouring into it at an impressive rate, it still won't be fast enough, says the IEA, without even more favorable government policy. The list of countries that are already on the path with solid hydrogen strategies are short and include only 17 countries. Another 20 countries have strategies in the works. The IEA estimates that hydrogen demand will top 520 million tons per annum by 2050, but opinions vary widely with some experts predicting that hydrogen demand will actually fall from the current 70 million TPA. Shorter term, the IEA sees hydrogen production reach 17 million TPA by 2030, if all announced hydrogen developments are actually completed. Bloomberg disagrees to some extent. BNEP predicts that the cost of producing green hydrogen from renewable electricity will drop by 85% to below $1 per kilogram by 2050 in most markets making it competitive with natural gas.